Hi folks, Pat Healy here for the Laker News. I'm in Fall River, where I'm going to be interviewing Dave Carroll, who is seeking the Conservative Party of Canada nomination for Sackville, Bedford, Preston. So, what motive, Dave, what motivated and inspired you to throw your name into politics? Well, first of all, Pat, I'd like to say thanks for being the first interview I've done as a, as a politician. If it had to be someone, I'm glad it's you. Yes. And, uh... I've been a big watcher of politics for many years. I have a Carleton University political science degree and uh, have been following politics closely. And I've been a conservative all of my life, pretty much, and uh, I stay somewhere near the center. So watching Justin Trudeau since 2015, I've been underwhelmed by just about everything that he's been doing and the way that he represents us internationally and domestically. I think the country's worse off than uh, before he arrived and that we need a change. So I think that I can represent this writing really well and I can win. So that's why I'm throwing my head in. All right. Obviously, this is just the first step as there is a nomination meeting to be held at a time and date to be announced. How are you earning people's support for the nomination, knowing that there's three other people that we know of who are also concerning or have their name put forward for the nomination and talk a little bit about that process, the nomination process. Yeah, so this is my first nomination, first uh, time in the political arena, so I'm learning as I go, but my understanding is uh, that we all have to win the nomination. It, to become the candidate, you need to win. There's three other people, as you mentioned, that are running, and I happen to like and respect them all, so the writing is in good hands regardless of who wins. And uh, there will be a vote uh, probably in the next month or six weeks it's yet to be determined and it's a basically a winner take all uh, you have to have more people come and show up for you at the nomination meeting and we're all trying to persuade conservatives and, and moderate liberals people that want to change that we are the person to do it I've been thinking about doing this for several months so I've I've asked a lot of people including a lot of liberal friends and uh, some of them can't go there that's fine but uh, I ask that people respect each other a whole lot more than they have been. There's too much polarization, I think, in, in the world right now. And I'm coming in with the best of intentions, trying to be a representative for this riding and represent everybody here. And I think there is a way to do that uh, with respect and staying in the middle ground. I love the common sense approach to the Conservatives right now and, and, uh, and just being respectful of everybody. But I think the common sense middle ground approach is the best. Okay. Um, what are three top priorities you see in this new federal riding of Sackville, Bedford, Preston? I'm going to ask pretty much everybody I speak to what they think the priorities are. I'm going to be their representative in Ottawa. I think uh, I'm a, I like storytelling. I think we have a great story to tell in this riding. I think we can be more. I think we can ask ourselves what else can we be. We've come, we're coming out of a disruptive time and uh, the future is a little bit uncertain. So. Uh, we can get through this together, but it's real. My job isn't to have all the answers. My job is to ask everybody what the answers could be and bring the best ideas forward. Thank you for that. Um, in your video that's on your Facebook page, Dave Carroll Campaign, you talk about being more of a fiscal conservative. What does that mean? It means, uh, as you know, I've played in a band, Sons of Maxwell, with my brother Don for 35 years. And the only reason we were allowed to do this for 35 years is because we lived within our means. Uh, we would have loved to have been cool in the gang and traveled around with the 12-piece band, but we couldn't always afford it. We had to make the best music we could with the abilities that we had and the money that we had and the band we could afford. And uh, that's probably my biggest criticism of the Trudeau government is that the spending is completely off the hook and uh, we, need to, we need to draw that in and live within our means. They need a membership in the Conservative Party, obviously, to be able to vote for you at the nomination right. meeting. Yeah, memberships are $15, and you have to be a member to vote for whoever the member is going to be for the Conservative Party. So uh, that comes with no obligations. You don't have to sign anything, and there's no promises made, but you need to be a member for $15. You can go to conservative.ca for that. And I tell people that uh, I'm asking them to consider what I'm saying and to ask them what they think is the right thing uh, that we should be doing as a community going forward. How can people find out more information about you and your conservative campaign for the nomination? My website, uh, davecarolmusic.com, is where you can find out more about everything to do with me. But for the campaign itself, I've created a Facebook page, Dave Carroll Campaign. 
Uh, if you go to uh, Facebook and just type in Dave Carroll Campaign, that should come up. And that's the place that I'm hoping people will engage and have all the dialogue that we can have, respectful dialogue, uh, and, uh, and we can build a, build a campaign together. I know for a fact that there's going to be people that are kind of toxic. Uh, that's, that's the name of the game, I guess, when you get into politics. I'm going to try and, uh, with the middle ground approach, uh, let go of that a little bit, not try and, I got to grow a thicker skin in a hurry, for sure. But I'm also going to encourage more people to come up with common sense ideas and be welcoming to people that are left of center and uh, try and be the type of representative that most people want to hear. So until the nomination is held, what are you going to be up to? I'm going to Scotland for a work gig for a couple of days. It's, I'm excited about it, but it probably could have happened at a better time. <laughs> but uh, while I'm away, I'll be still working a little bit, and I have a team of people that are really rallying around what I'm doing, so I'm very fortunate that way. I'm going to be knocking on some doors. I'm going to be calling some people I don't know uh, and introducing myself, and I'm going to be calling people I know well and just uh, trying to persuade them to join me for the nomination night. Nomination is the whole thing right now. i got to win that or it's all over. Yeah, that's the main thing. You have to win the nomination to become the Conservative candidate for the next federal election for Sackville, Bedford, Preston, whenever the next federal election is. So Absolutely. It's, it's a step-by-step -step process. This is the very first step, and uh, I'm looking forward to, uh, to the nomination vote. I hope I win. I'm expecting to, and then I expect to win uh, the seat in the general election. That's the plan. Thank you for letting the Laker News be your first political interview, Dave. If it had to be anybody, it had to be the Laker. Pat Healy for the Laker News by Lake Thomas in Fall River.